Oh hey, if you've made it to this channel, you probably like cookies, no matter what kind of shape or crazy size they decide to come in, or maybe you like making them too, or just licking the bowl when you are making them. Either way, you are in luck because no matter whether you like them crispy, super thin, chewy, nice and soft, or just downright huge, I have just launched the ultimate guide to cookie baking, available on Etsy or to my glorious Patreon people right now. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another hopefully delicious junk food review. We are talking about the most tropical of them all, Jaffa Cakes Passion Fruit. So recently Jaffa Cakes have been going on a bit of a mad one, if you will. They've released a kind of Jaffa Cake strawberry version, a Jaffa Cake lemon and lime one. You know, none of them have really been good enough that anyone has ever wanted to see them again, let alone buy them. <laughs> so I'm interested to see if this passion fruit flavor is gonna make me feel passionate about Jaffa Cakes. Because honestly, Jaffa Cakes are kind of a perfect food as they are, in my opinion. If, of course, you are unfamiliar with the Jaffa Cake, if you are from a different part of the world, a different part of the European continent, let me tell you what they are. A Jaffa Cake is a light sponge cake with dark, crackly chocolate and a passion fruit flavored center. The standard Jaffa cake is all of that, except it's orange jelly instead of passion fruit. Now I can't speak for every other country, but I know from experience that Poland has a very similar product, which I will flash up on screen in case you don't know what I'm talking about or in case you're Polish and you would like to see a similar example. So I'm hoping that these will be everything a Jaffa cake is supposed to be. Soft, with a hint of chocolate and a real kind of zesty fruitiness to it. As you can see, we have 10 in the packet here. And there is an immediate passion fruit flavor smell coming from these Jaffa cakes. Now, as you can see, they're fairly standard. They look like little biscuits. We have a relatively dark chocolate on top and we have that sort of weird, flat, semi-hard, semi-soft sponge cake underneath. Shall we see if the Jaffa cake passion fruit is worth your money? Hmm, honestly, better than expected. Let me give you a little close up before all of this chocolate melts all over my hands. <laughs> that is what the inside looks like, if that will focus at all. Soft sponge cake, lovely kind of melt in the mouth jelly and that little chocolate topping. And honestly, the passion fruit not only works, they've done it pretty well. I genuinely, genuinely like these. I like a Jaffa cake as it is, but some of their more gimmicky flavors really haven't been great. Chocolate and passion fruit is a great combination. Not only does it taste kind of a bit new, a bit fresh, a bit summery, but it's also a really kind of underused combination, I feel like. Passion fruit you'll see in fruity ice lollies and things like that, but you rarely see it paired with chocolate and it works really well. Mmm. The inside tastes just like a Solero lolly or a kind of passion fruit smoothie. They've really nailed that flavor without making it too artificial or sickly. I could quite easily smash probably the whole pack with this cup of tea that I still need to drink. Sweet, soft, melty, chocolatey. If you like Jaffa cakes, if you like passion fruit, I would definitely recommend picking these up before they inevitably disappear. For what they are and for being something genuinely a bit different, I would give those a solid five out of five. I know. I'm shocked too. <laughs> if you guys have tasted the McVitie's Jaffa Cake in Passion Fruit, do let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Am I feeling too generous and, you know, in a good mood today? Should I have berated these more? <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, do consider dropping a little like and do consider subscribing if you're new here. It would be fabulous to see you again. In the meantime, that's all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for being here on this daft little channel of mine, and I'll see you for the next one.